Good afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for Wednesday's trading session, the uh, mid afternoon update for the 2nd of August 2017. Please be sure to visit TradeSignal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, market stats here, the uh, European session certainly has turned negative, even though we had the uh, stellar earnings from Apple overnight. German DAX certainly negative, French CAC, IBEX, stock 600, all certainly turning negative. So again, some, some cause for concern there. In terms of uh, the economic data numbers for this morning, uh, really we've had uh, BRC shop price index from the UK coming in slightly weaker overnight. We've had unemployment numbers from Spain certainly coming in stronger than expected. We've had mixed set of earnings uh, this morning. Uh, overall, overwhelmingly, it seems like the, for, for the FTSE, certainly weaker. Like I said, Apple earnings stronger, RSA, Lufthansa, BAE uh, earnings certainly stronger, but on the, on the negative side, we've had Rio Tinto down, Standard Chartered down as well, William Hill down, uh, again, um, certainly very, very, um, Travis Perkins, Johnson Press, uh, Greco as well down, so it certainly has been weighing on the FTSE 100 this morning. Okay, so um, stronger earnings from Apple certainly help the, uh, the NASDAQ, and uh, certainly NASDAQ will certainly look to uh, head higher. And then we'll see how the rest of the market obviously unfolds. In terms of a technical picture, let's just quickly go over to the German DAX here. Going on the, over to the daily chart, you can see that we've certainly made that potential pivot low bounce yesterday on that bullish engulfing candle uh, quite impressively. Now, the euro certainly remains uh, a hindrance. The euro USD, if I just bring up the chart for you, you can see we've hit a pivot high of 1.1870. And we're looking forward towards the uh, ADP numbers. Uh, again, that will dictate. ISM, ADP, we have Mr. Mester, Mr. Williams speaking as well. So again, whether or not they can put a bottom in the dollar, which in turn sends the euro lower, it will certainly help the German DAX to a large extent. So bear that in mind, okay? German DAX, from my perspective, certainly is looking to carve out a potential inverted head and shoulders formation now. Okay, so you've got the head, and it's all about this right shoulder now, how, how much the right shoulder actually uh, coils back before we start to move higher. We've certainly put in a double bottom on a 60-minute chart. So bias remains bullish for me on the German DAX and looking to potentially push higher. Okay, in terms of the uh, French CAC, let's just bring up the French CAC as well. Again, a bottom certainly seems to be made on the French CAC here. Uh, double bottom, call it around the 5090. Again, you're looking for an inverted head and shoulders. Look at this left shoulder here. This is the head. Okay, right shoulder certainly going in now and then obviously looking to push higher, looking to close that gap at 5190. So certainly looking bullish on the uh, the actual. Uh, French CAC too. So, with the Dow obviously breaking to all time highs above 22,000, okay, looking at the rest of the market certainly to follow suit. In terms of the Euro stocks, let's just quickly go to Euro stocks here. Again, higher highs, higher lows. Euro stocks has made a higher, looking for a higher low here at 75%, looking to push higher, potentially close that gap at 3493, which hasn't been closed yet, and then obviously look to potentially move higher. 60 minute chart, the uh, the actual euro stocks again. You're looking for a higher low and then subsequently a higher high. So, again, that's certainly something to consider in terms of the FTSE 100. Let's just bring up the FTSE for you. Okay, FTSE 100 still has that unfilled gap. We are now coming into potential support on the FTSE, so watch out below. Uh, in terms of the FTSE 100 daily chart, our presence uh, certainly inside bar of the candle from yesterday. But it's an inside bar from the candle from the Friday 28th. So again, certainly something to consider on the daily chart. 60-minute uh, chart, you, you still have a possibility of a bull flag here. Okay, so looking to coil and then obviously look to break higher given the bullish engulfing candle on the uh, Tuesday 1st. Uh, market certainly attempt or battling, uh, battling it out here. Okay, especially with the uh, US market certainly higher. S&P higher as well. Okay, so we'll see how the FTSE 100 unfolds. 10 minute chart, the FTSE, like I said, you have an unfilled gap at 7370. You have horizontal support at 7380. And they will be the zones for now. Okay, right. So that's a good summation of European indices. Please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your training needs and take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.